Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have a very exciting unboxing for you. I have the brand new MacBook Pro. This is the new 16 inch MacBook Pro, and uh, I've thought about upgrading my current MacBook Pro for a while now. I have the 15 inch MacBook Pro, which is the late 2013 model. Uh, so I've had it, I got it in 2014, so I've had it for about five and a half years, but it has been about six years since it actually released. And uh, I thought it was it was time for an upgrade. I Look, the MacBook Pro that I have from 2013 worked perfectly fine. Um, I'm actually going to be, um, uh, I'm actually selling it, but basically here it is right here. Like it's in, it's in good condition. Um, you know, like it runs perfectly fine. Uh, everything looks great. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's super, super, um, uh, like, you know, it's, it's fast for what I need it to do. It's great for video editing, all that fun stuff. But there's things that I want to do. I want to expand what I can do. Right, I want even greater speed. I want um, better power to be able to handle when I live stream or do any gaming things. Uh, uh, faster, you know, for processing with the video editing. Um, I also want to have the Thunderbolt 3 connectors to be able to connect devices to like monitors or different things. So there's more that I want to be able to do with it. And so I don't upgrade very often and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go all out for this. So, if you wanna watch the unboxing, skip ahead a little bit. I just wanna real quick show you which model I got, and then we're gonna actually do the unboxing. So, here is the actual um, Apple Store, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. There's the 16 inch, I got the uh, Space Gray uh, model. Uh, they do have silver and space gray, so I got Space Gray. Um, I ended up going down to this version here. Um, and then hitting select and upgrading a bunch of stuff. So basically I upgraded the processor. So I got the 2.4 gigahertz, eight core, ninth generation Intel Core i9 processor, turbo boost up to 5.0 um, <clears throat> gigahertz. Memory, I bumped it up to 64 gig gigs RAM. Probably overkill, my current laptop is 16 gigs, so I wanted at least 32, but I said, you know what? Screw it, I'm not gonna be upgrading this for a long time, so I might as well just go all out while I can right now. Graphics also upgraded that to the uh, AMD Radeon Pro 5500M with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Storage-wise, the base model comes with one terabyte. I said, you know what, I'm bumping it up to two terabytes. I have 512 gigabytes currently, and that fills up quite a bit. So one terabyte might be okay, but two terabytes I think will be decent enough, and then I'll connect a hard drive. Eight terabytes was just way too much of a price bump for me, so I stuck with the two terabytes there. And that is where it all came out. So if you're doing the, uh, <coughs> if you're doing the math, you know, we're essentially looking at this model right here, but um, I did do um, the student discount uh, as well as um, uh, trading in my uh, my my old MacBook Pro as well. Uh, and I did get Apple Care, so I guess that bumps up the price too. Um, I don't get warranties on a lot of stuff. I've only really ever gotten it on my MacBook and just my recent iPhone, but otherwise, you know, I, I kind of stay away. But for something like this, when I'm spending this much on it. I figured I'd go for it. So, with that being said, now that I've told you which model I have, this is it. Uh, this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Um, again, I have the one from 2013, so this is gonna be quite the change here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the, the box. There's not really too much to it, so let's just kind of open this up. I just wanna do a little unboxing. I'm not really gonna do any like, uh, um, sort of boot up comparisons and uh, load times and all that kind of benchmarking. One, I don't feel like I'm qualified to be able to do all that. I don't know all the full details of things. Um, tech wise, I'm still learning a lot. Um, but what I will say is, you know, there are other YouTube channels out there that do have all that. What I'm gonna do is focus on unboxing this, showing you my initial thoughts, and then doing a quick little comparison in terms of the look and feel and size to my late 2013 15 inch MacBook Pro. I've seen a lot of comparisons of this with like last year's model. That I feel like that's not realistic. A lot of people may be upgrading after a few years. So we're gonna do that comparison. So with that being said, let's peel this um, and uh, let's get this thing open. I am very excited 
to check this out. I know some people, you know, like the 16 inch size wise is just a slight increase um, compared to the 15 inch last year. I don't know how much it compares exactly to the one that I have from a few years ago. I do know that this is a slightly heavier model than last year's 15 inch. However, it's slightly less heavy than the 15 inch that I have. So it's actually going to be a little bit lighter for me, um, which is kind of interesting. But uh, all right, here we go. Ooh, there it is. I'll also show you the uh, USB-C hub that I got, as well as the case. So that way, um, it's like a sleeve, really, I guess, um, in case anyone is curious. So, um, well, first up, here's the, uh, the, the cable right here. So it looks like we got a USB-C cable, which is now different from the, uh, uh, the MagSafe uh, charging connection that I uh, have currently with my MacBook. So this is a... Um, uh, a new situation for me, but you know, USB-C is kind of where things are headed. So uh, time to, to jump in on this. So to go alongside that, we do have the actual USB-C charging brick right here. And this is a new one, which is actually, I believe 96 watt. Yes, 96 watt USB-C power adapter. The previous models were I think in 80 something watts, 84 maybe. Um, so this is actually new, and then uh, we have that. All right, inside here, we have a couple of things. Let's see if I can slide it all out. Is that it? Feels like there's something else in here, but I guess not. Maybe it's just kind of thicker just to protect stuff. Well, you have Space Gray stickers, which apparently is new uh, from watching other videos. I had no idea, but that's kind of interesting. I don't really use the stickers. I don't know what for. Um, some intro stuff, MacBook essentials. I've never had the touch bar on, on my uh, MacBook Pro, so that will be kind of a new experience. I don't, I'm not particularly interested in the touch bar, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Um, all right, and then of course, here it is. So let's peel off the plastic. Check that out. All right, let me uh, give my initial thoughts. That space gray looks nice. I actually have not tried the new 16 inch model either, like in an Apple store or anything. Um, so this is truly my first look at this laptop. Um, I've just seen lots and lots of videos and read reviews and everything. So I did my research, but just didn't actually specifically try it out myself. Um, so you have your two um, USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports on one side and then two more on the other side. Um, oh, is that a headphone jack? I didn't actually know that it had a headphone adapter there. That's interesting. Um, so that's new for me. I'm not used to this. I'm used to my SD cards and all that, and I'll show you a comparison in just a second. But uh, so far, like, it's pretty nice. Like, let's see, weight-wise, like, I mean, it's basically what I expected. Um, it feels similar to mine, maybe slightly... I don't know. If... It actually kind of feels a little bit heavier slightly, um, which is weird because I think it's actually supposed to be slightly lighter, but uh, you know, maybe that's just me not properly kind of feeling the weight of it all. Let's put this stuff side by side. Um, all right, this is going to be super hard to tell, so I'll lift up the camera. You can see my MacBook Pro is raised up slightly behind. You can see the silver behind the, uh, the space gray slightly. Um, so mine might actually be a little bit bigger. From the sides, if I try and line up the left side, I believe, again, the silver, it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's slightly sticking out. So I think this one might actually be a little bit dimension-wise smaller. I'm not... I did not 100% accurately compare those things, so don't don't hold me to it, but uh, that's what it seems like. Port-wise, again, this is what I'm going from. So I'm so used to the MagSafe and all this stuff right there. 
So that is, that is different. And then of course, on this side, um, that SD card slot gets a lot of use with all the videos that I, uh, that I edit from this camera. So definitely a very different experience for sure. So let's, if I can fit both, this might be a little hard to fit on camera actually. Let's see if I can put them side by side maybe. No, that's actually not gonna work. Um, all right, I'm gonna try and do it like this where I open them up and try and do a comparison. Ooh, that looks slick, that looks slick. Um, keyboard wise, let me just pull up, hold up my camera here. So I'll just do a quick comparison. Obviously this is what I'm used to. And uh, that's the feel of the keys. All right, first impressions. Kind of similar, but a little bit more clicky. Um, oh, that's actually on, so I better be careful with what I'm typing. But this feels a little bit more mushy, but actually, to be honest, it might actually be... Utiliser le français comme langue principale, oh, okay. appuyez sur la touche entrée. <laughs> let's make sure I'm not picking the wrong language here. Um, but uh, let's go up to English. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Um, but I will say this does look real slick. The MacBook Pro writing right there is new for me. Mine doesn't have that branding on it, so that's interesting. You can definitely see the bezels are um, more thin on the sides compared to what I'm used to. So, yeah, I mean, overall, this is definitely uh, really interesting. It's definitely really new. All right, I know this is a terrible comparison. I'm going to put my old laptop away. Enough of that. Let's just jump into this. So, this is the new MacBook Pro. Um, yeah, again, the keyboard feels really nice. So you do have the, the touch bar here now, which is new, and now there's a dedicated button, which is the fingerprint reader and power button as well. So that is very interesting. Speakers on the sides. Um, trackpad is nice and big, uh, which, is, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it looks very slick. Definitely, first impressions are this thing looks real nice, and I am very much liking the new look of this thing. Um, that's really all the impressions that I have initially. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole setup process and, and really bore you with all that. Again, there's so many videos out there where you can basically see a lot of that stuff for yourself. The other thing I will say, the uh, Mac icon doesn't light up. Not a big deal, my old one does light up, I know they took that away in recent years, but that's another difference. Not that I actually saw it because I actually had a case covering it, so that doesn't really matter. But to end this video, I actually wanna show you uh, two more things, okay? I wanna show you, first and foremost, if I can grab it, I have this sleeve right here. And this is something that I got off Amazon by Procase, and it was a uh, basically a little sleeve slash laptop bag for the 16 inch uh, MacBook Pro. So, they had a couple different color choices. This is the one that stuck out to me. I believe this was the teal color, um, which was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's basically so one big sort of sleeve, but there is an inside pouch right here um, where you can store stuff. And then when you open this up, this is a nice soft material in here for protection. And essentially, let's, moment of truth, does this really fit the 16 inch MacBook Pro? Yes, looks like it fits it um, with uh, a decent bit of space around the sides. So no issues there. And if I try and zip this bad boy up, no problems at all. No problems at all. It works pretty great. So that is great news. So if you're interested in various sleeves for the 16 inch MacBook Pro, this might be one to consider. Um, there are a couple other options. Apple's one, that leather one is way too expensive. Um, and, I, and I normally will get Apple cases for things, but that was just too much. Uh, but I, I wanted one that had the handle so that I could carry it around pretty easily. So that's why I went with that. The other thing that I want to show, uh, I can't really recommend anything yet because again, I'm, I haven't used it yet, um, but 
in this inside pouch, I stored it in here, I have this hyperdrive USB-C hub. So obviously with the USB-C ports now, I need my SD card slot and you know everything else. So I looked into a couple things. I know there are docks out there that um, are like power docks and, and th there's a lot more functionality that you can do with those. My thought is I'm gonna wait it out. I don't think I need that stuff right now. What I do need is something portable that I can use and bring with me that has an SD card slot and also USB uh, A, I believe it is, which is like the the previous kind uh, slot so that I can plug in my legacy devices and also an HDMI port if I ever you need, need to plug into a TV or monitor or something. So this was perfect because it's very light and portable, very easy and convenient. And look, it's got my SD card slot. Um, uh, I think this is a micro SD card slot maybe. So you got a couple of ports here. There's even an ethernet uh, port right there. USB, HDMI, um, so perfect. It has everything that I need. And the nice part too, look, it blends in so well. Um, so this actually feels like it's a part of this whole thing because it's the same space gray color, which is super, super awesome. So this makes it very nice and easy to connect my devices. Um, so that is the hyperdrive thing. I think I got this uh, at Best Buy's website. Um, so if you're interested, you know, there's that as well. Anyways, um, I just wanted to kind of make this video just for fun, to be honest. I know it's not going to be the best, you know, video about the 16-inch MacBook Pro. There's people that do way better videos out there of this kind of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to unbox it to have on the channel because I'm excited about this. I wanted to show you some of the accessories I got and let you all know um, that, you know, I know there's a lot of changes going on with YouTube. It's been a struggle, but hopefully I'll be able to find some, some fun and joy in editing videos on this new beast right here with 64 gigs of RAM and all this other overkill. Uh, this will be very interesting to, uh, to use. So very excited about that. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them over time, uh, as I get to use this thing and have additional, um, experience with it. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you later.